Today you will learn how you can really easily remove some hot spots from oily or greasy skin in Photoshop with this really simple technique. So let's do it. We will use the photo of this beautiful woman and we will remove these hot spots right there from the nose, maybe soften out these ones and remove this one. So to do this, we need to create a new layer, empty layer. And by the way, if you want to download this photo and other files that I will use in this tutorial, check out the link down there in the description if you want to follow along with me. Okay, let's create a new layer. Use a brush, press B on a keyboard for a brush and lower the opacity around 20 or so percent. We want to add the effect incrementally. By the way, I'm using pen with the pressure sensitivity, so I will just control pressure with the pen. If you're using mouse, lower the opacity right there. Okay, so basically what I want to do is to make a little bit bigger brush. Make sure that you're using really soft brush, soft round brush, hardness all the way to the zero and sample by holding Alt or Option key a color around that highlights these hotspots. Okay, somewhere here. And just slowly painting the effect back. So you want lower percent of opacity. I'm using 50 because I'm controlling with the pen, but you want to use 20 or 10 even. Okay, also here. And just paint over this a little bit like that. Also grab here from the nose part. Okay, perfect. And also this one. So grab somewhere here or maybe even this brighter tone and slowly paint here and maybe from this side, this darker tone and slowly paint here. So just sample different tones like, like this. So let's unzoom. Only by doing this also here I want to soften, we said that we want to soften out these parts a little bit, not too much. So basically only by doing this with this one layer before and after, before and after. Really cool trick, but I don't want to overdo it. So we can always go and lower the opacity if you want. Also, another cool trick is to double click on a layer and say, I don't want this to be affected on darker parts. So press Alt or Option key on a Mac and just see the eyebrows. I paint over the eyebrows accidentally, but with this we will eliminate. So Alt or Option key and just do like that and maybe move this one experiment to see what fits different image, different settings. So something like that. Press OK. Maybe I will go with this around 80 or so percent. This is cool. And then one more layer and we are done. One more layer. Go put it in a color blending mode. And again, with really nice soft brush, sample the tone right there and paint slowly again that tone just to equalize the colors and that's it so basically this tone right there and just paint it like that here and here and here and also let's sample here a little bit of that tone and just paint it around so this is it this is really simple and easy before and after before and after. I really like it. A bonus tip, if you want over the top of everything, you can use curves, boost it out, invert the mass with Control or Command I. And again, with a nice soft brush, we can bring back some highlights, but this time you can bring it however you want, really nicely, softly, if you don't want to have these harsh lights, but still you want to have really nice highlights. So maybe something like like this. So let me see before and after still, I think it's much better to have a little bit of the highlights. If this is too much, you can always reduce it. But overall effect, this is before with these ugly hotspots. And this is after the fix, you can see really simple and easy fix. Let me show you another example on another photo right here with a different approach. Basically, it's the same approach, but just different blending mode. So again, new layer. But this time instead of sampling this, and painting right there. Again, you can do this perfectly legit, but we are losing more and more of the skin texture if you're painting more and more, especially if you have dark skin and we need to paint more darker parts. So we don't want that. I will delete that and I will put this into a multiply blending mode. So that's the trick, multiply blending mode and then select this color somewhere in that hotspot in case it's not totally white, but something like brighter tone. And then again, paint with some maybe 30% or 
but still I'm using pen with a pressure sensitivity. Maybe you should go with a 10% opacity and just paint like that. You will see now what we will do. Okay, something like that. Then let's go here to the nose. Like that, you will see we have discoloration here, but we will fix that really easily. Okay, and we don't need to do anything else. Maybe a little bit more here. All right, so we will do the same trick. Double click on this layer and move this until you see, uh huh, it's starting to remove from the dark spot. So we want to press Alt or Option key and move this one to the left. So this is something that I like to do. Okay, maybe to again lower the opacity a little bit, not too much, something around 80 85%. And then like the first example, new layer, color blending mode, and sample the tone and just paint and equalize the colors here. And now we will have really nice see this coloration here. But with this color right there, we'll fix that. Perfect. And also here, sample this and just paint over the top. So I still have a little bit of the highlight, but I want to have that. As I already said, I don't want to remove it totally. So before and after, before and after. And the beauty of that is that you can group this, Control or Command G into one group, name it however you want, and you can lower the opacity of this, like maybe a little bit more and have still those highlights back, but much better than it was like, like this. So again, it's a personal preference. And then we have this crazy effect and you can apply any of these techniques, but because it's a black skin, I like to do a multiply blending mode. So I will fast forward this and you will see how I'm doing it. Okay, and this is it, really quick fix. So before, crazy, bright hotspots, after, really simple and easy technique. So again, before and after. Obviously, you can do the same effect with several different techniques in Photoshop. This is a little bit more lazy and quick approach, and uh, I like it. I like it because, not just because I'm lazy, I'm lazy, like you are lazy. Admit, you're lazy, you want everything like now right now, but because sometimes it gives amazing results, you don't need to use like frequency separation or some other techniques that require a little bit more time and knowledge spending on retouching the images. So if you want lazy and quick approach, use this technique, press the like button if you like this video, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already, and also check out my next video right there and see you next time. Bye bye.